This is my trigonometry course. Today you're going to take the final test of the course. In the previous class, we did a practice test together. And I give you a practice test for homework. Don't take this test unless you finish those two practice tests. As I mentioned in the previous class, this is going to be a cumulative exam. It's going to cover everything that we learned in the entire course. And this will be the last test that you take. Uh, let's go ahead and take screenshots. Here's screenshot number one. And screenshot number two. And number three. Number four. Number five. Number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So you should have everything cleared off your desk, no textbook no internet, no help from anybody. You need to do this on your own. And you should have uh, a pencil and a calculator. Make sure your calculator is in the right mode. You may have to change between degree mode and radian mode throughout this test. Make sure that you know which, which mode you're in because you can lose a lot of points if you're in the wrong mode for a particular problem. And you may want a timer uh, just to uh, track how long it would take you to finish the test. I don't care how long it takes you to finish the test. It may take you an hour or two hours or five hours. I don't really care. All that matters is that you do this on your own with no help from anybody. So go ahead and take the test. And when you finish, click on the answers to the test code in the description section. And uh, we'll discuss the answers. So go ahead and take the test now. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> so now let's look at the answers to the test. Don't look at the answers unless you finish the test. That makes the test pointless. So here's the answers. Problems 1 through 15. And here's the answers for 16 through 25. So now let's talk about how to uh, score your test. You've already looked at this, these types of guidelines, multiple times. I don't think there's anything really different here. Just be aware that uh, every problem is worth 8 points rather than the typical 4 points for uh, most tests in this uh, in this course. Remember some problems indicate the rounding but other problems don't. So if a problem doesn't specify how to round then uh, you can just use your own discretion. So go ahead and score your test and when you come back click on the grading your test uh, time code in the description section and we'll talk about how to grade your test. So go ahead and score your test now. Okay we're back. If you scored 180 to 200 that means you did really well. If you scored 160 to 179 that means you did well but there's a few things you could work on. And if you scored 140 159. That means you did well, but there's quite a few things you could work on. And anything below that, that means you probably didn't study enough. So in the next class, uh, we're going to talk about how to uh, give yourself a grade for the entire course. We're going to add up all the points, and uh, I'm going to give you a guidelines and how to uh, give yourself a grade so that you can know how 
how you did in the course. So that's going to be the last class for the course. You can watch that uh, last class right now if you want to. You don't you don't really have any homework uh, after this class, and you can uh, just finish up the the class if you want, or you can take a break and maybe watch the last video tomorrow or the next day. It's up to you. So I'll see you in the in the uh, last class.